The BSCFA executive met this morning for another round of discussions with several other stakeholders. The meeting ended at midday and the BSCFA's executive then made their way over to the sugar mill where cane farmers had set up camp. There, an announcement was made to the farmers. Andrew Westby, chairman of the committee of management at BSCFA, spoke to the press. As a farmer is acting in good faith, no? we are opening the path for BSI to flow, but we are giving two hours. If by the time of two hours they don't come up of the signing of the agreement, we will close back the path again. Who made the request? PM made the request for him to proceed with the interim agreement. So we are doing it as a good fit of farmer side, but after two hours and nothing is done, we are closing it back again. And you've gotten word from them that they're prepared to sign. Let's see what will happen. In response, there was some reluctance as well as objections from within the crowd. The way, the way I understand that, that the sugar industry is being manipulated, and we all know now, it is clear, what is happening with ESR and the farmers? To me, sincerely, I want to make it clear. If the farmers commit that mistake to open that, get that, that, that line. In a matter of minutes, the majority agreed to this proposal. The entrance and the road that leads to the entrance were both cleared. The next hour and a half were spent waiting. When that time had elapsed, Westby once again got on the mic to announce that an interim agreement would not be signed until Monday. At this, Kin farmers resumed their blockade. Trucks were placed in front of the gates once more and at the entrance of the road that leads to the factory. Era representative for Orange Walk North, Ramon Cervantes, was among the leaders who delivered the news that further agitated protesters. The situation is that, as I understand it, is that BSCFA's lawyer has uh, spoken with the Prime Minister and um, also they have contacted um, ESR's lawyers and uh, ESR's lawyers asked for some time to study the document that uh, needs to be signed for the extension of the date from April 30 to the end of crop and um, they asked for time until Monday until Monday and then once that is signed then I think it takes about 24 hours for for the um, the, the the boilers to crank up and everything so um, PM told me we're looking at a time frame of Monday or Tuesday to no, begin the crop. Those we spoke to said the expectation is the sugar cane sitting inside these trucks since Tuesday will be lost. Still, farmers appear to be adamant about leaving their trucks parked in front of the factory until an interim agreement is signed. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.